Hi, my name is Del Pedro. I'm a New York City bartender. I've been bartending in New York uh, for the better part of the last 21 years. And uh, we're here today in my apartment with uh, Rachel Warden, who's off camera, holding the camera, and a couple of degenerate jazz musician friends of mine are hanging out on the couch over there. And we are uh, about to make uh, some gin gimlets. And um, what I've done here is set up a little mise en place of uh, what we're going to do. And I pre-made or pre-mixed a couple things, which I will walk you through. Um, we're going to use Tanqueray gin. We're going to use Rose's lime juice. And we're going to use fresh lime juice, which I have already uh, uh, squeezed some limes by hand. Um, in these glasses, what I have, uh, the recipe will be two ounces of gin, uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, and a half an ounce of uh, rose lime juice per drink. And um, I set this up already that each of these shot glasses, which are two ounces total, each of these shot glasses contain um, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice and half an ounce of rose's lime juice. Uh, if you don't have professional bar jiggers at home, and I didn't use those, um, you can do this yourself, and I'll just tell you that uh, one and a half teaspoons is a quarter ounce. So you can figure out the math from there. Uh, but one and a half teaspoons, like a liquid measure that most people have at home, would equal uh, a quarter ounce uh, of liquid. So you can measure out uh, your stuff that way. And this is a two ounce shot glass, so we're just going to fill it to the top. Um, so I guess uh, we're ready. One thing I did do, which I did, uh, I did before to prepare, um, take your limes and just hand roll them um, to uh, just to break, up, uh, break them up inside. You'll get more juice that way. And also, uh, this is a kind of mixology nerd side of things, but you will uh, sort of bust out some of the oils inside the skins, um, which will uh, give another, you know, another taste and a little sharp tartness, uh, extra tartness. It's a subtle thing, um, it, uh, but it's a, it's a good thing to do. It does, I think it does make a little bit of a difference. All right, so we're going to make, uh, I'm going to try and make two at once. I, I actually didn't rehearse this. So let's, let's see how it goes. So obviously, I don't know if I need to tell you that I'm putting ice in the shaker right now. But that's what I'm doing. And uh, you want to get a good amount of ice. I actually don't really measure that. I just do it by. But, um, so three quarters fresh lime juice and uh, half an ounce of roses in each of these. So we're gonna, that's one. So that's serving for one drink. Here's serving for two. And then we're going to put in two two-ounce uh, pours of Tanqueray. Now, I chose Tanqueray on purpose uh, for two reasons. Uh, three, actually. One, the bottle's green. And since we're doing gimlets, you know, you'll see a lot of green stuff around here. So, um, but uh, for serious reasons, one is that Tanqueray, the flavor profile, it does mix well with limes. Um, and the other gin that works really well with limes is Plymouth gin. Um, I chose Tanqueray over Plymouth in this case because it's a higher proof, uh, significantly higher proof than Plymouth gin. And I, I did that because with the roses, which is a little, a little on the sweeter side, um, the higher proof will, will cut through, I think. Um, so we're going to do two ounces, and this is a sort of, uh, I'd say ten years ago the average pour was an ounce and a half. Um, drinks have tended to go higher in alcohol and drier, over, uh, um, a little more bitter, a little more tart over the last 10 years. So this is a two ounce pour. Okay, so we're all set there. We have two drinks. And uh, I think we could use a little more ice. Um, I have set up over here, I don't know if uh, Rachel's getting this, but I have some little champagne coupes, uh, which make really great gimlet glasses. And um, those are actually uh, somewhere between four and a half and five ounces. They're either four and a half or five ounce glasses. You'll get, uh, on the average shaking, you'll get about a, a, an ounce of liquid dilution. So with two and three quarter ounces of, uh, for the, the drink, for the pour, 
and, uh, or I'm sorry, three and a quarter ounces, sorry, of total liquid for the drink, and then another ounce with uh, dilution, you'll get a, somewhere around four and, a, four and a quarter, four and a half ounces. Um, with your home ice, you don't need to shake that much. It melts pretty fast, and you'll get dilution pretty fast. So maybe like eight to ten shakes should do it. So that's ten. I did a couple ones, a couple little ones to start. So somewhere around ten to twelve. Um, I'm known as a very sloppy bartender, I'm afraid. So I'm going to pour these out. And you'll see that this is just about perfect. Um, you know, maybe a little close to the top, but really almost a perfect pour. Um, so once again, two ounces of booze, uh, one and a quarter ounces of the mixture of fresh lime juice and roses. That's three and a quarter ounces. You'll dilute about an ounce, uh, so you'll get about four and a quarter, four and a half ounces, and comes right up to the top. So we're going to do something uh, a little simple with the garnish and just float a lime wheel in there. Um, one thing I didn't do that I meant to do and forgot, it's a good idea to throw some of this uh, spent husks and shells of the limes into the, into the mixing cup. Um, that is something I meant to do and, and forgot. But that will also, when you get the, those uh, lime husks bouncing around on the ice, will also bust out some of that lime oil, which is really, really, really tasty. Um, so, kind of blew that, but, uh, you know, I think you can retrace my steps and figure out what to do. Um, okay, so uh, that or those are two beautiful Tanqueray Gimlet's.